Take 5. That's how many takes it's took to do this video. You might have seen, I think 28 of you saw yesterday that the video was up. Uh, but it was way out of sync. It seems pretty in sync at the minute. So that, that that's good. Um, so hopefully that's fine. Um, it won't be fine because it's me. Nothing's ever fine in terms of quality of a video. Um, the sound quality should be improved. So hopefully that's a big tick as well. Um, so yeah, let, let me know your, your thoughts on uh, on that. But that's not the intro I did yesterday. Or what I would have liked to have done either. Um, because also, I must say, right, took four t attempts yesterday. It was also because I knew it wasn't in sync. And the first time I did it, uh, talked about we're playing through my mic again. Um, if you can remember that fiasco that uh, I've been through before. Um, so, yeah, um, don't come to me for technical advice. People have done before. And then they thought, why did I ask that prat? Because he doesn't have a clue what he's on about. He's, he's, bad, he's worse than me and I'm 80. Um, so, yeah, I don't know any 80-year-olds. But, um, yeah, so I don't know why I said that. But uh, we are from Kadon's v Bradford City. It's a match preview. I can't wait for it. Um, I, I think I said in the intro, I'm going to say it again. Get you at pumping on your speakers because it's a final countdown. It, it's here. The season's here. Let me know your predictions. Um, you should have done that two days ago, to be fair. But, um, yeah, first game of the season. What are your thoughts? Um, our record in the first game of the season isn't good. Um, so I, I've just realised as well, if you've already, if you watched one yesterday and you managed to watch the whole video before it got deleted and managed to watch it without getting annoyed, confused and um, and without getting very sort of frustrated at me being out of sync, then well done to you. But there's no point you watching this. So you might want to turn off, go watch Coronation Street or, or just anything worthwhile than watching the same thing because it ain't going to be much different um, apart from the intro I guess but uh, yeah so the first game of the season last season we lost 1-0 to Crawley previous to that a 0-0 draw to Doncaster Rovers previous to that a 0-0 draw to Exeter City previous to that a 0-0 draw against Colchester United and previous to that a 0-0 draw against Cambridge United so it's probably only heading one way um, we've yet to win on the opening day in League 2 the last time we did was in League One when we got relegated to Shrewsbury Town. So it's not a good recipe, uh, our opening days, um, is it? But uh, hopefully there's some goals in this game, and I think there might be. I'll let you know why later on in the video. So key players for them, they've got loads of key players. Um, I've had to nail it down to three. The best sign in League Two this season, in my opinion, is Liam Kelly. I think he's a fantastic ball playing midfielder. I mean, most midfielders are ball players. Um, I don't know why I said that. I think it was because I was thinking about what we're going to say for Luke Offord. Um, because if you're not a ball playing midfielder, then I don't know what you're doing. Um, but we, we've had quite a few actually who aren't ball playing midfielders, haven't we? I, I think to um, Ho Pakpan, etc. etc. Um, but he's, he dictates play. Um, and if you saw last yesterday's video, I, I don't have a clue what happened with that. I said he dictates. Um, no, that, well, that's what I wanted to say. I said he dick plays as well so that 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 one that that's a good one isn't it um he dick plays in the middle of the park um so i'm, I'm glad i didn't say that again although i just did um he's very tenacious in midfield i like a tenacious midfielder he breaks up play and he, he's just a very controlling man and he likes to manipulate things on a football pitch thank god i mean if if, there's, if I, i'm not going to go there but let, let's hope he's not like that off the pitch because there's too many footballs who are and uh last weekend we nearly had one visit in valley parade and uh thank god for the people of Bradford and for the man who was a former Bradfordian um, unfortunately we, we have to say that, that he was um, because that's where we're born Ribsy I think um, thankfully he was out of that selection for a certain French side and I think you know where I'm going so I, I will stop there um, so Luke Offord as well uh, very aggressive ball playing defender um, he's very versatile as well injuries cost him last season maybe getting more praise but it's certainly my move to MK Dons and I'm sure he'll excel in the system this season. And then the best left wing back in the league is Tomlinson. Uh, I think it's Joe, but then at the same time, I think that's the guy who does football daily. So um, I'm not sure what his first name is, but he's two-footed. He can come on his right, he can come on the left. And he's got a wicked cross on him. He scored against us in the game in October and he's a real attacking threat and he will tear us apart but we've got Brad Allardy to come back and thank God. Um, moving on into the head-to-heads then, there have been nine goals in the last two games between these two. Obviously we beat them 4-0 in February, they beat us 4-1 back in October so there should be goals, goals, goals involving these two because to, to, to further talk about goals, um, I don't know why I went Scottish River boot but uh, 59 goals have been scored in 18, that's since 2004 when we played MK Dons. And there's been no 0-0 draws in 18. So 
that's going to happen, isn't it? Because no nils on the first day, no nil nils in 18. I've said it, I've cursed us. So you, you can bet on that to happen, no doubt. There's only ever been one draw as well. That was at Valley Parade, not the MK Stadium. And that was a 2-2 back, around, I think, 2017 or somewhere around there. And Graham Alexander up against his former club. Can he get another one over them as he did in February? Very quickly on to the ref watch then. It is Tom Reeves who is um, the referee. I'm, hopefully I'm not saying at the end of it, I'd rather have Vic Reeves as the referee. Um, and I think he's ill. So um, hopefully it isn't an ill-fated performance by Tom Reeves. Um, but against Bath City, he's refereed five games. One win, one draw, three defeats. Seven yellow cards branded out. No reds as yet. Touch wood against Bradford City. Um, for Bradford City. Um, and he refereed Wickham last season and Notts County last season. Now I can't remember any refereeing mistakes. But I can remember us getting um, smashed by Notts County. And uh, an unfortunate defeat to Wickham. So hopefully that doesn't carry out to be the same again. But hopefully he has a good game. Right then, the dugout. We've got Mike Williamson in the dugout for MK Dons, of course. It was appointed there in 17th of October 2023, and he's had a great impact so far. 66 points from 33 games at MK Dons, which is a sensational amount of points, and it got them to the playoff semi final. Uh, which, it, yeah, it was, it, it was, where they got thrashed by Crawley, 8-1 on aggregate, and they was very easy to be, be passed through. Will that affect them this season? And it'll be a great test in his manage, management ability, get your teeth in, um, because how can he galvanise a group that got smashed? How can he galvanise a group that was humiliated? How can he galvanise a group that didn't exceed expectations and expectations are very high this season so we'll have to find out and that'll be a good test of his resolve um i think he got a promotion on his cv at gateshead from the national league north uh 2019 to 2023 he was the manager of gateshead did very well developing players and that's why mk Dons did um appoint him as the manager after the sack graham alexander uh very very um attractive manager in terms of style of play um he didn't want to look at uh, away from that to be honest Brutally, um, but you know, it, it doesn't matter what you look like, it matters what's on the inside that counts. Um, so, hopefully, you know, he, he's a very nice man, um, and I'm sure he is, he comes across like that. Um, but he plays it, what I meant was, he plays an expansive possession based style of play, and it's attractive to some, but I'd rather have Sam Allardyce. Um, and, 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 and some might in looks. I mean, I'm sure his wife does, but um, I'd be concerned if she didn't, to be fair. But um, anyway, I've gone wandering off there. Um, what can we expect from MK Dons and Mike Williamson then? Um, not good looks. Um, I think that's it. I mean, I'm one to talk. I, 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 apparently, I'm Alex Turner. I don't, I don't see that. I, I can't see that. Anyway, 70% um, possession, I think we'll expect to see from MK Dons. And probably 30% for us. I think we're going to really struggle to get the ball. But I think when we get it, we're going to be really efficient and effective with it. Uh, MK Dons will we'll hopefully see them passing it sideways backwards. Not going anywhere with it. And uh, I, I can expect a Graham Alexander Masterclass um, defensively. Because of that, we want to go to that game as fans and be entertained. And to be you know right behind it, us dominating. That ain't going to happen. And I don't want it to happen. Because I want three points. Um, you know I don't want entertainment. Um, you, you know, I, I don't want um, Coronation Street in the 1990s. I want bargain on at one o'clock. You know, I, I just want a short-term fix of, you know, just a bit of entertainment whilst I'm having my dinner. You know, I don't need action-packed, um, you know, slapping, fighting, you know, Jim McDonald getting arrested for, um, you, you know, smacking Liz or something, you, you know. Um, I, I, I don't need that tomorrow. I just want a bit of bargain on. I want a three pointer, and uh, hopefully that's what we get against MK Dons, and uh, I believe that we, that we will. Um, so yeah, um, that, that's not also not what I wanted to say. Um, so yeah, hopefully we get the press right. We can't be going over by our press. We've got to be cautious. We've got to cut off their passing lanes. Can't let Liam Kelly dictate. Can't let him get too much of a ball like Man City with Rodri. We can't let that to be something that happens and um, hopefully we see the blueprint carry on from what we did against Fe February well we didn't do it against February we did it in February against MK Dons and hopefully if we play like that I think we'll get the win midfield's got to be compact we've got to be aggressive our centre backs have to push up high and get tight to their men and not let them get in behind and just, just keep them rotating um, because you know we can't let them control too much and when they get into midfield areas be snappy be tenacious and bite the legs off and that's what we need to see. Um, they've got the ball. Um, when we've got the ball, they'll press high. 
we can't be making too many mistakes passing out. I think that's something we'll look to do a bit more under Alexander from what we've seen in pre-season. I think we've got to be direct in this game and we've got to make sure we have an out ball. So my starting 11, I've probably waffled on quite a lot, um, I'm aware, so I'll have to quickly go through this. So Walker in goal, safe fans, hopefully. Um, he had a good pre-season against um, Sunderland, um, a good pre-season game. Uh, Halliday in right wing back, talking about an out ball, I think he will be our out ball. He's got to get high and wide and hopefully he can take some of those you know, switches out chest and, uh, and, and, and deal with that. Um, he's got a tough game up against Tomlinson as well, but I'm banking on him having a good game cause, and carrying on what he did last season into this season. Right centre back I've got Aidan Baldwin. Um, actually, the, the team's up now, so this is the team, you can see that. Um, it's no surprise, it's just easier for me um, because I, I never actually say this is a team, this is going to be the graphic now. So this this is the team, it's no surprise. So I, Baldwin um, with Byrne and Kelly, I think those that, that back three is probably our strongest right now. Shepard nearly got in but I hadn't seen him, um, I didn't go to the um, Altrican game. Um, Kelly, massive fan of Baldwin and Byrne, not convinced about them, so it's a big game for them tomorrow and hopefully they can step up and have a good season for us and uh, in the main be solid. Richards in left wing back over right, it's got to happen. We we can't be found out down that side and I think we would with, um, with, with right. Uh, Richards is a bit more defensively solid and capable. Now, you've already seen, this is the controversial bit. This has got the eyebrows up and the ears pricked up high because you're thinking, bloody hell, he's gone very defensive here and I'm not travelling four hours or however long it is to MK Dons to watch that. But Smallwood, Gilead, Patterson is the midfield we've got to go for, in my opinion, because I think, you know, anyone else than that, it's, it's you, you need to, as I've said, the midfield has to be compact and we've got to be tenacious in midfield. I trust them. I think they're most defensive midfield-minded uh, midfielders. Rouse, Gilead and Patterson, you know, Gilead back in 2017 was a bombing winger, you know, he was flying up down that ring. You know, he's a great ball carrier and I think he can carry the ball out of and get us out from deep situations and he's reliable, dependable and he's put 100% effort in and these are games you need Gilead. Patterson have been impressed in, in pre-season and I think he'll carry that on. Um, and then you've got your Pat Pointons and those type of players who can come off from the bench. Kavanaugh and Cook up front, hopefully they can continue the chemistry from the back in the last season and what they've done in pre-season. And you've already seen the bench, it is Doyle, Shepherd, Pointon, who will be massive to bring off from the bench. Sarsovic, Walker, Jake Young obviously with his speculation, I think it was sensible not to start him. And Vidane Oliver who takes up the last spot on the bench. The score prediction for me it's 1-0, I think Kavanaugh will get the winner. You may have already seen it from the video I did yesterday um, night but came out this morning um, or this afternoon whenever it came out with SHD um, and go and watch that um, after you've watched me um, with the League 2 score predictions. Let me know your predictions in the comments down below. Let me know your thoughts going into a game in the comments down below. If you're going to a game or your thoughts get them down there. Um, like the video if you did as well. All the support is massively appreciated. And subscribe if you're new. Wonder World to 1000 subscribers. 620 has been hit. Like I said, the support is massively appreciated. Thank you very much for watching. Have a good one.